Philippines now at moderate risk for COVID-19. COVID-19 cases in the country at 3,577,298. Comelec gun ban arrested violators now at 583. Shear line affecting Southern Luzon. And Philippine Stock Index tracks Wall Street's rise. Good evening. Today is Wednesday, February 2, 2022. I'm Miguel Pao Togono and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Malacanang stressed on Wednesday that the alert level system being implemented nationwide amid the COVID-19 pandemic cannot be scrapped yet pending significant vaccination coverage in the regions. Acting Presidential Spokesperson Carlo Nograles said that it is not yet time to do away with alert level system just yet because while the National Capital Region has a high vaccination rate, there is still a need to ramp up vaccinations in the other regions. Presidential Advisor on Entrepreneurship Joey Concepcion earlier proposed that scapping of the alert level system given that major cities already have high vaccination rate with NCR, the epicenter of the pandemic, even exceeding 100%. Nograles said that alert level 1 will only be considered once the COVID-19 vaccination rate in senior citizens and those with comor comorbidities are already at 70%. The Philippines has dropped to a moderate risk classification for COVID-19 from a high risk classification according to the department, Health Department. Health Under Secretary Maria Rosario Vergeres said the country has recorded a negative one week and two week growth rate. The DOH official noted that though the average daily attack rate in the Philippines is still at high risk, it has dropped to 19.93 cases per every 100,000 individuals. Vergere said both the national health system capacity, total beds, and ICU beds are at low risk. The Department of Health reported 7,661 confirmed COVID-19 cases in, on Wednesday to bring the total number of infected in the country to 3,577,298. This brought the active cases to 160,297 and of the total, 5,575 are asymptomatic, 149,829 are mild, 3,056 are moderate, 1,521 are severe and 316 are in critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 3,362,904 after 23,392 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll is now at 54,097 with 43 fatalities recorded. Meanwhile, the occupancy rate in the country's intensive care unit beds is at 46% while 25% of the mechanical ventilators are in use. Trivia News on Q will be back after these reminders. Si Harry Roque, ang pinakamagaling spokesman, kaya inggit sa kanya ang oposisyon. Tama lang na ipinaglaban ko ang balik trabaho para bumalik ang kita ng mga nagtatrabaho at naghahanap buhay. Hindi pwedeng magutom ang pamilya. Dapat lang po ingat buhay para sa hanap buhay. Basta trabaho, kita at hanap buhay ang nakataya. Nasa harap niyo po ako. Ibigay natin ang tudong suporta kay Harry. Fun and inspiring na kwentuhan? Sagot na yan ang programang Spotlight ng Daily Tribune. Makipagkwentuhan at kilalani ng iba't ibang personalidad na kilala sa kanika nilang larangan. Manood at makinig sa mga inspiring stories na kanilang ibabahagi kasama si Nina Ventura at Jojo Silvestre. Be ready ng mamangha at matuwa every Thursday alas dos ng hapon dito lang sa Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now on YouTube.
In other news, the Philippine National Police on Wednesday said it has arrested a total of 583 people who violated the Commission on Elections gun ban since its implementation on January 9. Based on PNP data, 16 new violators were arrested and seized from them were 11 firearms, 29 ammunitions, and 10 deadly weapons. The new violators were arrested in Calabarzon, Central Visayas, Bicol, Central Zone, Cagayan, Northern Mindanao, and the National Capital Region. A total of 3,881 checkpoints have been set up on Wednesday. Commission on Elections through Resolution No. 1072 prohibits the bearing, carrying, or transporting of firearms or deadly weapons outside residence and in all public places until June 8. State Weather Bureau Pag-asa announced that the shear line will bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms over Bicol Region, Quezon, Oriental Mindoro, Occidental Mindoro, Romblon, Marinduque, Aklan, and Antique. Davao Region, Surigao del Sur, and Sarangani will also experience the same weather conditions due to the throw of low-pressure area. Meanwhile, Metro Manila and the rest of Luzon will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated light rains due to the northeast monsoon. Localized thunderstorms will also bring partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rain showers or thunderstorms over the rest of Visayas and Mindanao. And in business, risks on sentiments again boosted the Philippine Stock Exchange Index on Wednesday, but the peso depreciated against the U.S. dollar. The main stock index gained 1.32% or 97.34%. 34 points to 7,458.99 at the closing bell. The broader all shares rose by 0.74% or 28.87 points to 3,933.07. Regina Capital Development Corporation Head of Sales Luis Limlingan said that Philippine shares continued their winning streak after Wall Street also stayed in the green for three consecutive days, recalibrating its attention to earnings and sessions. Meanwhile, the improvement in the local bourse was not mirrored during the day by the local currency after it finished the trade at 51.045 against the U.S. dollar from 50.95 last Monday. There was no trading on Tuesday because of the Chinese New Year holiday. And that wraps up the stories tonight. Before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store, Araneta City, the Department of Tourism, MG Motors, Hina Motors, Security Bank, and Overseas Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. Again, this is Miguel Paltagonon, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night, and God bless us all. Public Service Advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Oh, vaccination, isolation, gotta keep up with my nutrition, gotta maintain my body condition, then I can take my vaccination. What do I choose? What do I take? As long as it is not a fake. AstraZeneca, Moderna, BioNTech, even Sinovac, okay now. Vaccination for the nation, no more isolation. With vaccination.
Philippines Public Service Advisory is brought to you by Daily Tribune and 100.3 RJFM. Magandang araw mga katribo! Narito na ang mga makakasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising na. Roy Pelevelo, Atty. Lia Badilio Crisostomo, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha at Chirk Balagtas. Abangan ng programang Gising na mula alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Ilabas na ang mainit na kape at samahan kami sa inyong pag-almusal, mga katribo. Simulan natin ang bawat umaga with good vibes sa mga informative and recreational segments ng aming programa. Maaari nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ang inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribunal sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings, mga katribo. Kaya naman, magkita-kita po tayo mula lunes hanggang beres, alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga. At magsama-sama po tayo sa... Gising na! Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. Download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS and Google Play for Android to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune invites you to join its vibrant community, Katribu, to get updates on the hottest news on politics, business, sports, lifestyle, and entertainment. Emoticons of the Tribune mascot, Tarsito, are available on our community Viber. <laughs> 